Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about don't let him lie to you. So I have three awesome scriptures there talking about this awesome subject. The first scripture I share with you guys is John 1 verse 48. How do you know me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you are still into the fig tree before Philip called you. Jesus knows who you are and he knows what you're going through. He knows the trials that you're going through and he knows what you're doing to yourself. He knows where you'll end up and he knows who you're going to be. Jesus has a plan for you that's far greater than your own plan. Jesus had that plan for you even before you knew about it. Jesus always planned for you to be here at this moment. When Jesus comes and picks you up, when you accept him as your Lord and Savior, when he takes you on an incredible journey that you, you'd never imagine that you would have, you will realize stuff about yourself that you didn't even realize before. You, you'll use those gifts that God has given you. You didn't even know that you had them. But Jesus, Jesus' will for your life is powerful. And they, this walk is not smooth. There's going to be trials and there's going to be lies that the enemy uses you. I'm sorry. That the enemy uses against you. He'll try to convince you that this world isn't real and that he's real. And that you can do certain things that you can't do. Like, for instance, you can go to another dimension. He'll put this crap in your mind to make you believe it. And he'll try to make you turn against God. He'll try to make you go into this crazy mode that makes you believe the enemy's lies because they're really convincing. He'll make you believe that what you're doing is wrong. And that, the, that Jesus is going to kill you at the end. That's a convincing lie, I know. I've been there. But Jesus is a loving God. And he will guide your steps. He will continue to be there for you. Jesus knows who you are and he's sworn to protect you. Even after all the sins you've committed and all the thoughts you've had, he still loves you. And that person that you're going to be is going to do great damage to the enemy's kingdom. That's why he wants you dead. But after every problem, there's an outcome. And it will be far greater than you've ever known. Just trust in him. Jesus has got you. Jesus is the truth. So follow the truth. And you'll get where you need to go. Just reflect on that right now. Second scripture, John 1 verse 45. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. When you go out into the world and share Jesus with people, they'll see an impact in your life from Jesus. They'll see your life changed and they'll want that change in their lives because their lives are gone have just gone downhill and people just they just want a new life. They think that it's all over for them until Jesus shows up in their lives. When they see Jesus in you, they will accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and you will have such an impact on life on their lives. You will have people just wanting to get to know Jesus and when they do accept Jesus their lives will be transformed and their hearts will be changed. Their eyes will be opened and they will want to just do everything they want that they can do for Jesus. They'll want to do to give up everything to get to know Jesus. They'll want to increase their relationship and They'll they'll just want to they'll just want to love Jesus with all their hearts. They want that fresh start. And when you come into their lives with Jesus, when Jesus touches you and anoints you, they will see Jesus in you and they will accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. There will be people that will be saved. People will scoff at you and they will refuse to listen. But when you have Jesus in your life and in you, there is nothing you can't do. No stronghold that can't be broken, and there is no eye that can cannot be opened. Just reflect on that. Jesus will use you in time. 
Just focus on what he wants you to do. Just keep diving into his word and getting to know him. That's the best thing you can do. Work while your your breakthrough is coming because you have to prepare your field for the rain that God brings you. Rain's not a bad thing. Rain's a good thing, especially when you're in a drought. Just reflect on that right now. Just reflect on what Jesus has just told you through me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Third and final scripture. John 1, verse 49. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. When you get to that point in your life, when you just want to just praise Jesus with everything you've got, when you get to that moment that you just want to give all glory to Him, then you'll, you'll be at that place that you realize that Jesus has just always been there for you and that Jesus will always be with you, no matter how messed up your mind is, no matter how much... Satan tries to convince you of such things. No matter if you're just sinking low right now. No matter if you're listening to the devil or just trying to test God's love. Jesus will bring you through it. And Jesus will give you that heart of worship, that heart of love that you need. Jesus will fill you up. And when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you cannot resist to show it. You cannot just stay still. You just want to jump for joy. You just want to give Jesus all the praise that you want to give him. Jesus will always be there for you. So just continue to worship him. Don't listen to the enemy's lies because they're nothing but crap. They're just trying to distract you from your from your goal. As long as you focus on your goal, which is to save lost souls and bring them to heaven with you, you will encounter God in so many ways. You will open... You will be able to go through doors that God opened that have never been opened before. You will see things that you've never seen, and you'll do things that you've never done. Jesus will be there for you. Just continue to pray to Him and ask Him to give you wisdom, and you will be just fine. Just reflect on that right now. Just forget about Satan's lies and just focus on God's love. Alright, I hope you got some notes, guys. I love you. I'm going to close in prayer. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in my life, Lord. Please continue to show me love, Lord, and show them the truth, Lord. Show them that the enemy's lies are just to distract them from their breakthrough, from their goal, which is to save people from where they're at. But we don't do the saving. We don't do the preaching unless we... We are used by you, Lord. You have to be in us when we preach, Lord. When we share you with the world, we have to be we have to be used by you. And it, the words that we use have to be given by you, Lord. So let us just continue to go out and share your word of love and mercy, Lord. Let us just go out and just praise you with everything we got. Because we're here to work for you, Lord. We're not here to sit around and waste time. We're here to to work. We're here to win people to you, Lord. We're here to bring your children back to you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in my life, Lord. Please continue to do it. Please, Lord, continue to work through Ethanio's plan simple to the people that that just need to hear from you, Lord. Please, Lord, let them know that you are there with them, Lord, every step of the way. I love you, Lord. I praise you in your awesome, glorious, beautiful name, Lord. You are awesome. You're greatly be praised. In your name I pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, so guys, remember, I'm just playing simple, but he is not. He's beautiful, and he's lovely, and he is glorious. He truly is. And this is just a reminder for everyone. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't listen to the devil's lies to the point where you can't hear God's truth. 
Just remember that. Jesus has got you. No matter what you're thinking, Jesus loves you. He truly does. And remember, when times are tough, praise God in the storm. See you guys. Please like and subscribe. God bless.